Hey, Matt Scratch here. So uh, we're going off-roading again. We're back on the same trail. We've been down a few times, but we're going to try and make it all the way down. It's relatively dry here today. It is raining lightly, but it's not really forecast to rain. And I've got my mum with me for the uh, her first ever off-roading. She's literally never been off-road before, so we'll see how this goes. And, uh, of course, Nash is with us. And... Um, we don't have the dog with us today, unfortunately. It's just a little too hot for the uh, the dog. He doesn't handle the heat well. So uh, here we go. We're just uh, we're at the easy part of the trail, but I'll still uh, I'll film it for you guys. few limbs through here so so this is the we did go down here in the last one but there's some big ruts at the end that we didn't uh, want to try and straddle in the uh, real muck so uh, just let that ride over watch out people watch out Ash looks like people dump out here yeah they do. Okay, so I've already walked this a few times, so I know that if I straddle the ruts this way, I should be able to make it. We've got the uh, the larger tires on here today. Okay, so we're just back onto the main trail here. Just got to get over this little hump. No problem. These big tires do make it more agile. Um, I haven't aired them down, that is an option, but I think I'm going to wait to see if the, uh, we actually lack for traction at any point, because if we're not lacking for traction, I'd rather have the uh, added ground clearance of having them fully aired up. So here's just a, a small mud hole here, we've been through this before. We did have traction rings before, that's not an option here today with these on here, so... No problems there. We're not going to do any exterior filming on these because you guys know the neon can handle this with ease. So here we are. This is to the part where we stopped last time and we wouldn't go down because it was too muddy. And today it's not so muddy. There's that tree we've cut in the past. getting around that tree and then it gets a lot easier here
Okay, well we just got through the big mud hole there and uh, moving on down the trail. So we're just coming up on the area where we got stuck here in the winter time, just around this corner. There's some deep ruts through here, but I don't think there should be much mud. So I think, no, I think it's around this corner still where we got stuck. We made it through all this. We must have passed it there where we got stuck because we didn't go down here before. This is pretty cool. Looks like somebody's been maintaining this trail through here. Just trying to freak out my mom a little bit here with a little bit of that two liter power. And I said it's not funny. Oh, but it is funny, mom. Ha 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 ha. Mum's buckling up again. Good job, Mum. Safety first. How are you doing back there, bud? Good. Enjoying the trip? Yep. I'm anxious to see where this road comes out. Uh, there's another highway like uh, going this direction and I'm hoping that it comes out on it so that we don't have to backtrack. Yeah, me too. It would be nice. Although this is pretty pleasant. Oh, just a walk in the park. It'd be fun going through that big mud hole again. No.
possible other trail. I guess it looks a little overgrown. I guess we won't attempt that. What were those noises? Please make those noises again, Mom, for the camera. <laughs> That's pretty accurate uh, um, replay, actually. What do you call that? seen a lot of arguments on uh, YouTube on reasons why you should own a beater car but to me this is the number one right here no worries right now zero stress I'm just out having fun this is deep deep you call that deep my Prius could have made it through there mom I was actually looking at four-wheel drives. Um, I kind of want a pickup truck since they're so popular and pickup truck prices have just gone through the roof in my area. Uh, to get a nice running 4x4 in my area is about four grand right now. If you buy one cheaper, it's gonna be one heck of a project and uh, I just don't have time for another big project and whatever I drive into the woods in has to be pretty reliable. So. Uh, for now, we're just sticking with the Neon. Maybe down the road as the channel grows, we'll definitely uh, look into getting other off-road oriented vehicles. I do love off-roading, but uh, I have a lot of fun in this for now, so it's uh, pretty well satisfying my need. Where are we going here? I don't think we are going anywhere. Yeah, I just got a, there's a fork in the road, T in the road, whatever. There's a sign up. Okay, we could go this way, we could go this way, or it looks like we could keep going this way even. I think maybe we should keep going this way because uh, that was the direction we were trying to go to get to the highway. I'm just, oh, what's the sign say? Billy's Boo? Billy's Boo it looks like. What do you think, Nash? See, the trail continues here. We can navigate around this tree. Mm -hmm. I was just going out to see what Billy's Boo, apparently. You pose under it. <laughs> you having fun, bud? Yep. Awesome. Oh. Okay, I didn't quite notice that tree when I was scouting. Okay. <laughs> what tree are we talking about? The one we just ran over. You're trying to go down there? That's the plan, yeah.
Doesn't this seem like the most logical course, Mom? No. Why? Because. Isn't this the direction the highway's in? I, it might be, but I didn't really want to go down here. This isn't a road. You sure? I'm positive. I'm convinced it is. <laughs> The nice thing about this rain, guys, I'd be real nervous about driving through all this grass. Even though we do have a fire extinguisher, I should mention that. But I'd be nervous about it, except uh, it just rained. So uh, it's really nice. It's all wet. Yeah, but we're not on the road. We're not on the road. We totally are. We totally aren't. Look I mean, I think there's a tree across it, but yeah. we're on it. Yeah, no, and there's another one up here. We can't go through here. Okay, well we got backed out of there and we're just gonna head this way because for some reason my senses of direction are telling me to go this way. Your senses of direction? <laughs> yeah, that probably means we should turn around and go the opposite way. Uh -huh. Just uh, navigating some deep, deep ruts here. We'll go through this little bowl here. This will be fun. Yeah. Doesn't show on camera, but we're on a horrendous angle right now. And your mother's clinging to Ooh, the. Oh, mom! Can't have that on here. Sorry. This isn't good. This, what? Look at this. No. What? We're not going to go for this. We have boards for this. I think we can make this. I got to stop and, and uh, get the boards up. So there's a deep hole here. Actually, nah, that's not that deep. We can totally go through that. We just have to save it outside. We won't bother out there. No, we're good in here, Ma. We can rock right through that. Really? Yep. I want to go home. Nothing to it. It's okay, my car identifies as a 4x4. Four four. Uh, I don't think this is getting any better. Oh, it's getting fun. I don't think so. Matter there, Mom. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna scout ahead a bit here. Which side are
Just to let you guys know, the car is running fine. Not overheating yet? Not overheating at all. This car's never overheated on me, and uh, uh. I have a big tranny cooler on it to keep the tranny cool. It's independent of the, uh, the radiator system, so uh, everything's happy right now. Just, uh, we're not out here to wreck the car at all. This is what we do for fun. We've made several of these videos. Plus, this is pretty much what the car, how the car gets used all the time. I call it rough use and fun, not abuse. Going down a little hill here. Looks like a little mud hole. Might get a little mud action going here, guys. Oh my god. You we'll better scout this. Yeah, I think I might scout this. This is looking a little swampy. There's a dog. So, I don't know guys. This looks, um, somebody's walked through here really recently. Oh, I'm not sure that it wasn't a, uh, an animal. I kind of think that was an animal. I can actually walk on this just fine, but driving on it, it feels really greasy here really greasy and then there's this uh, big rise at the other end I have to start considering how far out we are here is the thing and uh, planning on getting the car home safely so I might uh, might call it here I'm just gonna walk ahead if there was a Thanks for watching Matt's Garage. Don't forget to check out part two of this off-road adventure. I'll be sure to put the link in the description in case it doesn't show up below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have yourself a great day. And don't forget to ring that bell.